Hello, how are you doing? My name is Otto and welcome to the channel. This over here is a Mosa Slypod E. And this is a combination of a slider with a monopod that is going to be helpful to introduce movement to your videos. The Slypod E is a different type of slider where you have this main body and there is a barrel inside that will extend out at different speeds. The maximum travel distance is 28 centimeters and the horizontal maximum payload is 4 kilos or 9 kilos if you use it on vertical mode. Last week, I did talk about my GVM motorized slider and I like it quite a lot, but the Slypod has a few advantages over the slider that I really want to talk about on this video. The Slypod E is very easy to carry around. It only weighs 960 grams without the included tripod and the total length without extending the barrel is 59 centimeters. This Slypod also comes with this cool carrying case. If we take a look at the GVM slider that I have, it is over 4 kilos and it has a length of 97 centimeters. This makes the Slypod way easier to take almost anywhere with you. The Slypod E is also very easy to set up. It has this Arca Swiss base right in the middle and a couple of thread holes if you want to mount it directly to a tripod. The GVM slider can provide very consistent and smooth results, but when I use a lens that has no optical stabilization, the video clips are not so smooth and you can see small micro jitters which can be fixed on post, but that is something that you need to consider if you want to buy this slider. The Slypod does a better job even if your lens or camera don't have any kind of stabilization and it was really surprising to see how smooth and stable the video clips are with the Slypod. I also feel that the Slypod is more versatile for different kind of movements. With the included tripod, you can set it on the ground and make the Slypod push up. Placing it on a tripod will give you the ability to slide to either side or to make push in or pull out movements like these ones that you're looking at right now. Top-down views are also easy to do with a Slypod. And other angles and combinations can be achieved if you have a fluid head on your tripod. If you have a lightweight camera around 600 grams or less, you can set the Slypod close to the ground on a horizontal position with the included tripod like this. The controls on the Slypod are down here and they have not been my favorite part. I actually like the controls on my slider way more where I can easily set the speed, the start and the end point. To control the Slypod, I feel that the smartphone app is the way to go. It's going to give you more control over the speed and you can start or stop the Slypod without touching it, which is great to avoid any vibration on the Slypod itself. Most motorized sliders are going to be $300 or even more. And the Slypod E also has a retail price of $300. But for the last six months, the price on Amazon has dropped to just $269. And if that's not enough, there are some additional savings going on right now, which drops the price to around $230. It is a very good deal, and if you're looking to make your videos more creative, this is a very good option. The Slypod is a tool that I intend to use frequently on my videos, but there are two things that I don't like about it. The first one is that it is loud, and the faster it travels, the louder it gets. The second issue that I have with the Slypod is with the app. Well, the problem is not actually the app. It's the Bluetooth range that the Slypod has, which seems to be very short. Every time I walked away, the app would lose the connection. And when that happens, you need to manually reconnect the Slypod to the app. 
I think the maximum range to stay connected is about 2 meters or maybe less, and that's plenty enough if you're close to the slide pod, but it lacks the range if you're trying to make a video of yourself without any help. Mosa also has an upgraded version of the SlidePod called the SlidePod Pro. It has a lot of improved features, it extends even more, but it's also more expensive than the SlidePod E. Anyway, I will leave a link to these products on the description down below. Please don't forget to give this video a like and say something on the comment section. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!